After losing a close one to the Houston Texans in Week 9, Broncos country is out for blood. Losers of six of their last seven games, the Denver Broncos enter their Week 10 bye at a crossroads. They could proceed with the status quo and keep Vance Joseph as head coach, or send a message to the fan base that the lackluster product on the field is unacceptable by dispatching the head coach. We know the answer, of course. On Monday, GM John Elway said that the team will, quote, stay the course, close quote, with regard to Joseph. Needless to say, it was a soul-crushing development for Broncos country, but it should come as no surprise. With both coordinators, Joe Woods and Bill Musgrave, barely treading water with their current responsibilities, the Broncos brass don't see a viable interim head coach option on the staff. Special teams coordinator Tom McMahon could make sense, but not with almost half the schedule left to be played. The Broncos don't want this thing to completely careen off the tracks and sink the franchise any further than it is now. But the current state of the union, let's face it, is far from ideal. With former wideout Demarius Thomas and Houston's Bill O'Brien both firing shots across Denver's bow on Sunday, it would seem that the NFL has lost all respect for this once proud franchise, which is why fans wanted Elway to acknowledge their suffering and embarrassment and make a change at least for change's sake. But the fan base will have to hold out at least another month. The absolute soonest Joseph will be fired is December. For Mile High Huddle and 24-7 Sports, I'm Chad Jensen.